Okay, it's a beautiful day and uh, I think uh, the job on for today is to change the automatic transmission fluid in a Range Rover Evoque, so let's go and set it up. On the Range Rover, the fill port is that little hole there, so you have to take the front left wheel off to get to it. And there's the drain plug, which I've used this uh, to loosen. So it's ready to go, so now we get our oil catch can. Should be about 6.5 litres. I reckon we'll use the other one, you know. Alright. Oh, oh, look at that, bit dirty, not ideal. So that's the uh, transmission oil coming out. And uh, these 9 speed automatic transmissions are fantastic, but. Uh, Oh geez, you better service them uh, pretty regularly. They say lifetime fluids, but I don't think there's a fluid that can last a lifetime. And judging by the colour of this, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to have that go in there too often. And uh, yeah, now this, the signs of uh, oil going bad, uh, transmission oil is hard changes and, you know, taking a time in the morning when the motor is cold to engage and you know sort of slipping a bit so those are the signs of bad fluid but I do mine every year okay so there you go now we just uh, tighten that back up clockwise to tighten anti-clockwise to loosen of course now this here it's a uh, hex head that fits in so uh, it's eight millimeter and you turn it to go clockwise and you stick it in there and now we tighten it now give it a snug it up we don't want to over tighten and break threads or anything okay so just snug it up nice and firm but don't overdo it i'm going to put this uh, protective plate back on so i've taken all the screws off let's just put it on there it slides up over here like so uh -huh. all right uh, there we go all right, so you just put a whole bunch of these uh, screws back in, get this bash plate uh, in there. This protects the uh, the motor, of course, so, you know, the underside of the body. One at the front, one at the back. And of course, we've got the car jacked up and, uh, you know, it's got wheel chocks on it for the safety, because you ought to be very careful. All right, that's going in there. Let's get the other ones. A bit extra. Let's screw that one in there. So you're just putting all these little screws in place. All right, so we've got a lot of nuts here to do, and uh, doing it by hand is slowing me down. So I put my old trusty air extension. It's a bit loud, does the job, and it'll be fast and it's fun. <coughs> Whoop! Other oh, wrong way. <coughs> okay, so now that we've drained it. We've put the bash plate on underneath. It's time to uh, fill it up. There's the fill hole. This little thingy here uh, plugs into there. It just, you know, the, the hooks into it, like so. There you go, so it's hooked in. You fill this uh, with your transmission fluid and then you just pump it in, you go up and down like that. So, let's uh, start pumping some fluid in. Alright, so, I'll just put that there, we've got our transmission oil here, here's our thing here, let's uh, fill that baby up. Okay, so we've got, um, this is the oil we're using, uh, multi-vehicle, full synthetic, ATF, uh, automatic transmission fluid, and um, yeah, just make sure you get the right one for your vehicle, because there are slight differences. Like a Lexus takes different and stuff like that. Okay, so now we're just filling up our uh, transmission. This is a new color. Okay, so we've got a, a good liter of it there. Where's my rig? Just put uh, that in there. Okay, we screw that up there. Get that 
rag on there, but it's a bit slippery with the oil, I guess. Let's start pumping. Okay, there you go, it's as simple as that. So now we're just pumping the fluid into the automatic transmission, and uh, you just keep going, and when it starts overflowing from there, it'll just start seeping out. That's when you're full. So it's as easy as pie. It's not like a Lexus where you actually have to do spe um, you know, specific quantities and measure it in there, and, and uh, there's a straw to tell the difference. Uh, quite a fiddly thing. But this is easy. Okay, so we're just uh, pumping that in. You can buy these pump bottles from any automotive store. I usually have two, one for the automatic transmission and one for the differential because they take different oils and you don't want to mix oils. All right, uh, so that's, uh, okay, that's, uh, ooh, I just gobbled that up. Let's just get this out here. Okay, this is the third liter coming in. Pretty easy if you've got the right tools, you know. So uh, this little uh, pump bottle only cost a few bucks. All right, let's keep on pumping. Oops, a bit of oil there, get a bit slippery. already is it so you can see now the oil is coming out that means we're full and I get the uh, fill plug and uh, let's just whack that in there okay so while the the transmission takes uh, 6.5 liters you only ever fill two or three liters at a time and the reason that is is there's a torque converter and all the mechanics in there that have uh, the fluid is still within it, so generally it takes a few goes to, um, you know, to. Uh, well, it's a bit fiddly. Let's um, make sure we don't lose the nut. Okay, so I'll put it back on there, and this time we will be careful. Slippery. <laughs> so I'm just threading it in here. Just be careful you don't drop it into the the tray. Otherwise, you have to take the tray off to get your uh, nut out again. Okay, so there you go. She's in. So now I'll just tighten it up clockwise to tighten. Okay, so that uh, ratchet goes in there. Okay, so we want to firm it up, we don't want to over tighten it, so don't put your whole body into it when it's uh, going there, you just want to snug it up a bit. Alright, almost done. Alright, almost done. Okay, there we go, it's done. Now we snug it up, not too hard, you know? Okay, that's done. It's time to uh, jack it up and put the wheels on, take it for a test drive, and see what happens. Alright, a heavy wheel. Get the old foot under it. There we go. Okay, so we've got that done there. Okay, we just got to think safety, you know. Uh, putting yourself under the car, this thing will go down quicker than a bride's 90 if you're not careful. So, uh, just, uh, okay, that's it. 